Hi, this is Katie Stafford, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Google Form, which has been an absolute game changer for me in my classroom. So here I am at Google.com. If I'm signed in, I've got my picture right here, and next to me is what we call the waffle. Click on that. I'm going down to look for the purple forms icon. Here it is. And you'll be able to see all the forms that I have used. I use Google Forms as sign-up sheets to sign up for my extracurricular ensembles. I just send the link to parents. They quickly fill it out. This is my choir sign up, recorder class, Christmas guitar ensemble. I also use it for assessments with my students. My third graders all took this instrument family test. My fifth graders took the recorder test, the guitar pretest. I've done so many and I love it. Let me show you how to make a blank quiz. I'm going to click right here. And let's just make a very quick recorder quiz just to show you the functions. It is very easy to create one. So here I am just going to call this recorder quiz. And I always have the kids type their name first. Helps me a lot later. I'm going to add a question now. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a picture. Which note is being played in the picture below? So I'm going to go here to the image icon. And you can upload images in many ways, but I'm going to show you the search function. All the images that pop up here, I'm not breaking copyright laws if I use them. I'm going to find one where it is very clear what note is being played so my students can easily see. This is a good one. And it's going to pop right into my quiz now. And I want them to do, how about instead of multiple choice, you have all these options here, including short answer and paragraph. I'm going to do a drop down. Kids like that. So I'm going to give them all the choices, even H, just to trick them. There we go. And I just click on answer key here and select the correct answer and how many points I want this question to be. Done. There we go. And just for the sake of time, we're going to end the quiz there. Let me show you how to share it. I click on this send button up here. Go to the link. I always shorten it. And I just project the link from my students on my whiteboard and they all type it into their iPads. Let me just put it into a new tab to show you. If they type it in right, it takes them straight to the quiz. They don't have to sign into Google or anything. It's amazing. Here they are. Let's just take it real quick. Show you how it works. Type my name. Hmm, I think that is a D. Let's see what happens. Submit. Now the students can view their score after they submit it. Shows them what they got wrong. Shows them what the right answer was. Here's my score. That's what I put. Here's the correct answer. And now as the teacher, let me go back and show you. Ah, here I have one response. There it is. So I can see data on each question. I can look at an individual's test right there. Here's the best part though. If I click on this green sheets icon, it shoots all the answers into a spreadsheet for me, which for someone like me who teaches about 700 students, this is a game changer. See, timestamp, score, name, all the answers to their quiz. So my days of grading paper pencil tests are gone. Absolute game changer. So I hope that Google Sheets will be helpful for you and that you learned something today. Thank you.